Welcome back to Bud Suds and Duds, where Rob and I have had some good drinks and an interesting game. Uh, a solo job here with Aerial Knights Never Yield. We like the elements. Uh, it's the whole package that we're kind of a little iffy on. But again, because it's a solo effort, like, definitely a lot of respect for what was put into this. Right. And we were going to boss rush it, but it looks like we didn't have a way of doing that, so. But Rob said he's tired of playing around. He's going to show his skills now. Oh, right. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> All right, here we go. I didn't catch it. Did, did you see if it said it was a Unity game when it came out? Uh, I believe so. I think so too. That's really done a lot for for interesting ideas getting out there. Ooh, <laughs> nice save. I mean, these explosive barrels all over the place is just careless. I get, I get the stylistic choice of it. I do, uh -huh. but like having that, like that, that, that camera angle like that. Yeah. I get it's supposed to be stylistic, but it's just annoying. Gotcha. Here is. And it, that part seems weird. It seems like sometimes that's not supposed to spawn that there way. Oh, you're supposed to jump over both at once. Yeah. Ah, okay. There's an interesting filter in front of the lights in, in certain, well, nice, uh, certain other aspects of this that is really neat. It kind of reminds me of... I want to say I've mostly only seen this in newspaper comics, but when they're sort of dot matrixly colored. Do you know what I'm talking about? Um. Where they're just the, a ton of little circles instead of just being like filled in or whatnot. Are you talking about the, uh, like the light pattern and stuff on there on the headlights? Yeah. Um. So I'm going to float something by you and see if you agree. Okay. Whenever you see a TV show and they're looking at microfilm. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you're right. For those of you out there, microfilm. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, like that that's because it's over it's over everything. Yeah, right. It's like one static mat of it across the screen. Uh, and it's just the object movement itself, not the filter. Yeah, that's what that's what it feels like to me. Was like when you're looking at when you see anything where like you're looking at microfilm or anything or like a microfiche. Yep. That. Those are the small fiches compared to the large fiches. Right. Eesh, that's such a little time. Which is why I feel like there's a clue and we just haven't caught what the clue is, you know? Right. Or this game is just, hey, here's your reaction time, show us what you got. Oh, you know what? The filter's gone. Huh. Interesting. Oh, Ooh. still the time. Yep. Are those sound waves that you... I guess. Okay. It's killing me with jazz. <laughs> I hate that so much. The part a... that really kills it is, I don't know if you notice, but what it does is it jerks the screen every time it spawns one of those on. Yeah, I do see that. So if he's playing guitar and hurting your health with the sound waves from that guitar, you could say he's... Killing me softly with his song? Yeah, you, that wasn't the line I was going to start with, but yes. <laughs> he's, he's strumming your pain with his fingers. 
I couldn't see that because of the fence. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Nice. Is it always the same? Yes. Okay. So you can at least do a memory. Yeah, then. do like pattern recognition. Right. I almost couldn't see that because of the foreground. I didn't see it until you hit it. <laughs> trying to do yeah but it's just like okay if you're gonna have this happen you need to not have shit in the foreground right because i can't see in the foreground i like that like it was in the explosion yep it was in the explosion and you can see he did craft this game specifically in a way to be like Keep replaying till you get it better because the only quote unquote, or not quote unquote, the only number to this game is the running total of time. Right. You know, so like you're, you've never run out of lives or something like that. Ah, I forgot about the, in the explosion. It does look like when the screen shifts a little lower sometimes, like the word runt is by the, the timer. Yeah, it is. I don't know what that means. Maybe it's your ranking? No, it's run with an exclamation point. Oh, run. Okay. And you had me look at it. <laughs> I'm helping you out. That's how I assist. No. <laughs> yeah, because for me, I'm getting, uh, I'm getting a uh, balcony light in that spot, so it was a little hard to see. Ah! It's in explosions. It's so hard to see. <laughs> well, I mean, to be fair, most things in explosions are hard to see. Yes. It's the other ones after that. Okay. See, there's not even a... There's not even, like, an audio clue as right. When those are coming out. That's why I was being so quiet. I was trying to see if I could pick up on one and I couldn't. It's just, yeah, there's no audio clue or anything. It's just they appear and then having the running images in the foreground ends up ruining what you're trying to time out because you can't tell. Right. Like that, I forgot it was purple because it was in a yellow explosion. Red. Purple. Yellow. Ah, it's purple! <laughs> After the yellow is purple. Got it. Yeah, there was like a squeebly guitar or something. Okay, I got another checkpoint. I can't... I can... Come on, you can't... <laughs> you can't keep doing that. Okay, like this... This is where I find stuff annoying. Do tell. Because it's... It's like, I get it, you're supposed to be distracted, but this is just... Not, this isn't distracting you, this is just putting shit in your way. <laughs> like, th this is just putting crap in your way. So, in instead of... Instead of being like, okay, well... Here, now here's a shitload of, of pattern recognition. Right. It's like, okay... I'm gonna lay out the same level the exact same way, just learn the pattern. It's like, no, how about, damn it. No, how about it, it's a decent enough level so you don't have to keep restarting it over and over again mm -hmm. when you're playing it and making everything so fucking difficult to see. Yeah, 
know, I was I was on board with this game being all right up until this. Right. Yeah, I, I would say you were sour on it as soon as that van first showed up. Uh huh. Because there's a difference between you know making it to where making stuff challenging or making it hard for hard sake. Right. Oh, I couldn't see that it was in the explosion. Yep, I had the same issue. Oops. <laughs> Yeah, just making it hard for hard's sake. Ooh. Oh, really? Oh, I think you were right at the end. Whoops, I hit, that was my fault. Oh, no. Alright. <laughs> Here we go. Couldn't see that one. It's in the explosion. Yep. Not that explosion. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not even like you have. Really, that was the end. Yeah, that's that's what I thought earlier. Is I thought you were right there. Yeah, because it's not even it's not even like you're sitting there making something trickier to maneuver or anything like that. Like you're just putting stuff that's in that's that has stuff in the way in the foreground in order for you to not see it. Right. So instead of actually having somewhat of a, a like, um, tactile challenge with it, you're just... you're just putting stuff in the way so I can't see. Yeah, right. It's like, it's not even like, oh man, you know, you gotta push these buttons a certain way, memorize the pattern it's like cool i get that but then you're sitting there going okay here like like that like the camera change like that right i do not think that is that is great i like the music though still yeah music it's, still is fantastic it's really jazzy like see with this like i can Oops. I hit two things at once. That was me. Uh, yeah, that was me. I hit two things at once. But see, like, with this, like, I can... I can anticipate stuff that's coming up. Right. With that, with that other stuff on that other level, like, I couldn't, I couldn't anticipate anything that was coming up. Right. Because it was just like, oh, here's a yellow thing and an explosion. Yeah. Like, I wonder, is this, like, royalty-free, or...? Uh, I hope so, because <laughs> if we're recording it, if it isn't... Uh, I don't... I didn't recognize any of the music, so... That doesn't really mean much, but maybe something. Okay. Yeah, that's the one thing I don't like, either, is the dramatic camera angles like that like if you're gonna do that then at least take away control that's what i was just gonna say is that usually you see control leave you during those the power ranges are here yeah right like what if, what am i running from i still don't get it <laughs> yeah right i think you're 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 an experiment and you have escaped the lab uh yeah, maybe, maybe instead of the inside universe, maybe this is related to the portal universe. The outside universe? Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, bonus level. Oh, oh. Yep. Okay, that was a, that was tricky. That was tricky. <laughs> yeah. Uh. But I mean, aside from a few flaws, like like this, like doing more with this stuff, this is this is all right. Right. Just that one boss fight where it's just I couldn't. Oops. <laughs> that one boss fight to where I couldn't see anything because everything was hidden from my view. Right. Okay. I'm not gonna. Oops. I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna play the game if I gotta sit there and 
take random guesses at which explosion that was. Right. Or what the color of sparkles you have behind the explosion is. Yep. And it's a hell of an effort, you know, for one guy. So that's why I think we both agree on the whole, ooh, I hope he does another thing. Right. You know. Right, because, like, if I had to give it anything, if I had to give it anything, um, I'd probably give it a solid six. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you said that. Actually, so we were doing the scale of one to five. Uh, three and a half. Okay. Okay. Uh, I tend scale one to five. I'll give it a six. <laughs> uh, cause I forgot. I'm glad you did that. I forgot we did do that at the end of Starscape. So, uh, yeah. So I'm gonna give it a three, but it's not because I think of it less than you do. It's that I tend to avoid giving halves. So, uh, for me, a three three is good game. I don't know that I'll revisit it though. So. Yeah, I'm about there. Yeah, I'm about right where there, wherever that is. Gotcha. I think I'm going to yield this. All right. We here at Joy Boys Yield. Thanks for hanging out with us, guys. See you next time. <laughs>